No hablo portugués, voy a tratar de hablar español de forma calmada para que me puedan entender. Si hay alguna duda, eh, me lo hacen saber, ¿ok? Si no entienden algo de lo que estoy diciendo. ¿Bien? Eh, ¿O prefieren la charla en inglés? ¿Inglés? 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 Ok. Eh, who are developers here? Who are developers here? Anybody? No? <laughs> ok. Eh, for create containers, eh, when are you developing an application, ok, eh, you have to deploy it. Uh, this deployment uh, could be difficult, okay, when you're, tri when you're trying with servers, with applications, with libraries, or any version that the libraries that you have in your environment, okay? Uh, for this, uh, in free software, uh, the people create the containers, okay? The container is a system embeddable in like virtual machine, but it's not a it's not a virtual machine really. Okay, uh, it's a part of your system that is in a jail. Do you know what is say uh, root? Do you know what's root? Okay, root is a jail. Okay. When can leave libraries, um, applications in, um, how, how can I say, in, in a space of your system, okay? Uh, this feature exists in the past, okay? But uh, this feature uh, was not automatically embedded in your system, okay? For this, the open, soft, open, soft, uh, open source community create uh, Docker, okay? Docker right now is a famous project, okay? That use all the world. They use uh, the, most important, the most important companies in the world. Uh, they use uh, the developers for have the same staging, okay? What you know? What is staging, right? Anybody? The same staging when you are developing an application, okay? Uh, and this staging, when uh, with all uh, with, with all these features, is the same that you will use in production, okay? Uh, but starting the the talk, there is a problem. Okay, what makes Docker? When you are using Docker, you download an application and create a container with that application. Okay, for example, you are using Apache or are you using uh, Nginx, okay? That Nginx is the only application that will, will be downloaded like a container, okay? What happens if you have to create for the containers for your application? Are you using Java? Are you using PHP, um, Python, um, database, okay? That is crazy, right? Um, for that, the people of Docker, watching that uh, it uh, was difficult to create this container once per once, any time, the people create a Docker Compose. And this will be, uh, this will be the thought that I am, I am telling you right now, okay? Okay. When you are working in the multi-container, this is the pain of the ass. Really, it's the pain of the ass. <laughs> okay? Why? Because 
you have to build image from Docker files. Docker files is the syntax that you create when you are using a Docker container. Okay? Uh, it's the syntax X per line. Okay? You pull the image. You will be you 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 will make permissions to to the files. You will expose a port for 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 any service. Okay? M you have to build a mesh every 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 time that you will create a container, and that is the pain of the ass. You have to pull the mesh from a private registry. Okay, right now uh, Docker have the public uh, hub. Okay, when you there are a lot of containers for applications pre prepared for use in production. Okay. You download uh, these applications and you use read to use, okay? Um, you have the you, ha you have the choice to create your own private registry, okay? For example, if you are in a company uh, and you don't want that uh, the external people uh, knows what what are you doing, okay? To create your private registry, okay? But Pulling these images uh, in the primary history means that you have to create your own registry with your resource, okay? And that is money, and that is uh, time for your developers, okay? And when you are working with multi-container, you have to create or configure your own container, okay? Again, time for developers. M, you have to start with the containers manually. That means, or you will go into the uh, to the uh, to the console and and give uh, and give orders to the to to the containers, or you will create, uh, for example, a bash script and put all the all the commands there. That um, again, that is depending on the ass. Oh, obviously, if you if there is an error in your application, you have to create a lock for your application and see what happened. But okay. <laughs> uh, and only you will be build pull and push image to the registry again, again, and again, and again. And that is a repetitive task that, for, for example, for me, is not good. OK. What happened? Docker Compose, what may take into account the Docker client, the Docker commands that you use every time that you will create a, a Docker container. Uh, that means that you will deploy your, your application with a single file. Uh, how many of you uh, uh, have to use uh, YAML files, serializable files? OK. You know that it, this is used for for create configuration for any application, okay? And this is the same syntax as of, for Docker Compose. So it's not magic. You have you don't have to to know a new language. You don't have to know uh, any any magic recipes, okay? <laughs> and with with Docker Compose, you can build, run, and link containers with a single command, and trick sets of containers like, like application servers, web servers, of any application that you have to deploy with Docker. Okay? Uh, the syntax of Docker is almost the same of the Docker client. Who are is Docker clients before? Here. No? Okay. You? Okay. <laughs> uh, 
you have to build your 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 container. Okay, you have to give command to your container to start a file into the container. Okay, that means if, for example, if you are using the Python file, uh, and you have to run this Python file. You will run with with this syntax common. Okay, you can mix containers into into the same. How can I say? Into the same strategy. For example, if you will use if you will use a web server and you 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 need a database, you can link this database to the web servers for for deploy. Okay, uh, that means uh, this theory uh, common. Uh, you can expose ports to outside. Okay, that means that you will you will for what a port. Uh, outside uh, of the server, and you can use in your in your by in your in your in your web server uh, in internet, for example. Okay, you you can create volumes volumes of data. Okay, what means uh, exposed volumes? Uh, you can put data in the volume, and you ha and you can and you can modi modify the files, and these volumes will show the the content uh, in real time. Okay, it's like that you are using your disk. Why is needed this? Because if you are developing an application, for example, in local environment, and you are creating, you are using containers, that means all the change that you that you made to the code will be shown shown in the in the in uh, in the web page that you are developing. Okay, in real time. Uh, and obviously, when uh, when when this is in production, it's the same. Okay. And uh, you can define with the last common environment. You can define the staging the environment, the development environment, and the production environment at the time. Okay. That means that you will not use the same variables environment, the environment, uh, environment variables uh, in the in the container. So you can define the layers, the layers of your of your deployment. In use in production, local, and staging environment. Okay, so I will start. I will start to say things and go to the demo. Tell me. I would uh, I would like to know if it's possible to use Docker Compose in production because last time I read the documentation they said it's not very good to use because I don't know why but I would like to hear from you if it's good or if they are going to make improvements in Docker Compose to make it easier to use in uh, production environment. I've heard, I've read it. Uh, is it uh, true? Is it possible to use in production? Is it good? When you heard this? Uh, I've I've read it in the documentation from Docker. But when? Um, I think uh, two two years two ago. Two months. Two months ago. Uh, no. Docker Compose is ready to production. Okay. I work in this company in Colombia, Bunny Inc. Bunny Inc. is. Uh, one of the, of the best company for, uh, for boys over on the world, okay? That means uh, we have one million, for example, one million visitors a month, and we use Docker in production. Docker, Docker Compose. Compose, okay? Docker Compose in production, Docker Compose in local environment, and Docker Compose in staging, okay? And we use Chef to deploy this 
our the our uh, our code free to production and pass to Jenkins and pass um, and copy and copy this code to production with all the tests. We ran the test with Docker Compose, creating obviously uh, our code for test uh, for testing. And I can say that, for example, in in, in our company, we use for production. Okay. I will say something. All the open software projects say that this is not really for production. Okay. Why? Because they are not company. Okay. They they cannot manage problems with companies around the world if something don't work, okay? But all the companies around the world is using this technology for working, okay? I recommend you, from my point of view, that if you, if you, see, if you see this comment in an open software, ignore them, okay? Because because there, there are a lot of people using this, okay? But thank you for, for, for the comment. Any questions? Like, like this guy? Okay. Okay, I will start to say, uh, to say things and I will uh, show you uh, some code, okay? Uh, atom, atom, atom. This is the example that uh, I create for this talk, but uh, I will I will show you the code of the Docker Compose YAML of my company. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay. This code is like half like uh, white 500 lines. Okay. We create uh, with YAML uh, all our resorts. Okay. Uh, we have our image in a private registry. We expose these services the services in our IPs we have mail we have database we have the volume for this data we can mix services here uh, we have the cache, cache we have MQ MQ is a system for for uh, MQP you know what it is an epic an epic is 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 is, a, is message system okay message uh, between applications uh, for create applications not uh, uh, with asynchronously messages into the in between the applications okay we use we have uh, systems uh, private systems uh, and this stands uh, for for containers like java 
uh, with Grails. Gracism is a language uh, based on based on Java. It's a framework, not a language. It's a framework based on Java. We use PHP with a a a FPM, okay? We use the PHP virtual machine, HHPM, okay? We create our locks here. As you can, uh, as you can see, I can scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and we have, and we are defined our our uh, all our services for development and for local environment. Okay, so it's really the production. I have internet here. I have tengo internet. This is our site, okay? And this is running in a Docker container live. Okay? You can ask uh, for companies around the world and um for example Airbnb is running a container you know what is uh, Airbnb? Airbnb, okay. Uh, Trick Advisor is running in containers, okay. There are a lot of companies around the world running containers, okay. And well, uh, I will do my our example here. Uh, I made a, a private registry in a virtual machine, okay. And I will show you. I will show you uh, how uh, how uh, I made these images, and how can I deploy? Uh, I have the code of this of this page that I I will show you right now. This is the, the web page of our main event in Fedora, the Food Con Latin, okay? And I have the same code in my machine and I will deploy it with Docker right now, okay? This is running right now in the digital ocean in a Docker file, okay? So I will do the same right now. I have my own code here. Oh. And I have a, a directory with the Docker file that I will use. Okay? A, for example, you can pull image from Fedora or from Ubuntu or from any distribution that you that you that you like, okay? Uh, in in this time, I will use Fedora because I am part of Fedora. But <laughs> if you if if you can choose Ubuntu or if you can choose any any distribution, you can do that, okay? Uh, right now, uh, there is not all the distributions. There is in Docker FreeSB, free, uh, FreeBSD, uh, Ubuntu, Red Hat, Fedora, Fedora um, um, oh. well, this is this distribution that I know that uh, could be used for for uh, for uh, Docker right now, but all the distribution that have vanilla images. Okay, could be used 
for Docker. Okay? Do you know what is vanilla, vanilla images? Okay. Vanilla images is uh, a short short images of your distribution. That means that you will use like 200 megabytes for uh, for Im each image that only have the kernel um, and some and some applications and new applications, okay? Like uh, Beam or or uh, only libraries that is used for development, any, okay? And you will install new applications into this vanilla image, okay? These first, first commands pull a, a distribution for the Docker Hub, okay? The Docker Hub is, uh, as I said, a, a, a services that when, uh, where you can pull image of all the applications that you can imagine, okay? If a application doesn't exist there, doesn't exist, okay? <laughs> Uh, this is metadata, okay? That means uh, you, can, you can put your name here. Uh, and you will run uh, the package manager, the package manager of, the, of, your, of, of your distribution, okay? Uh, that means that you will update all the, all the libraries and applications that uh, is in your container, and you will clean the temporary files, okay? Why? Y uh, this image could be used in short, uh, huh? correct. Um, if you have, if you have trash there, uh, you will not do anything with your, with your, uh, with your container, okay? Uh, this common could could be used for run any applications that you will use in your container, okay? Run is for running every application that you have installed in your application. And for example, here in Python, I will, I will install only the version of Python that I, I need to, to work, okay? And the package manager of of Python, okay. In this case, I am I am installing Python Python Pit. Pit uh, is a package package manager of Python, and that means when I install this this uh, this library, uh, this library will pull Python, okay. And I am cleaning again. Um, I am running. I am running a command that will be shown to the to the developer uh, for uh, for show the developer that he, that uh, the 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 building of the container is okay. Okay. And I created another file here that is in a Docker file. You remember the the, the container of, of Python that I created before? Okay, I build I build this this image and push to the registry. That means that I can pull that image from my private registry and use. Okay, I know. The version of Python doesn't make sense uh, uh, half in your private registry, but if you are using you are using a private uh, application to your company when companies that you don't you don't want to put in the in the in the public registry, you can make your own reg registry and put there. Okay, and well that. Is I I made uh, again metadata, and what is different here? I have this file here that is all the dependencies that I use in my applications, and I want to I want to plug in my Docker file. Okay, 
and, and I want to I want to room this file for for install all uh, all my <coughs> all my de dependencies of my code. Yeah. I run it. Uh, I define a work gear. That means I will create into the container a directory for pop my code. That means I will expose my layout file to this work gear in the in the container. Okay? And I will use this directory, the main directory of all our code. Well, um obviously i have to i have to put uh, i have to make uh, permissions here for running my awm my uh, my awm file uh, this is for running in local okay because uh, in production you have to you have to create you have to create a wsga file uh, this file is easy for the web servers to expose python applications but uh, here, for example, I will show you how to run local quickly. Okay, but uh, in production you have to you have to create a, a file more professional. For example, huh? No, no, no. My code, my code. Though, uh, is a WSIG. WSIG is a library that, e, e, that is used in the Python applications for running your files in Python. Okay? Right now, I am using, I am using this, uh, I am running the file uh, only for, uh, uh, for the talk. Okay? But in production, it's not the same. Okay? Uh, I have my Docker Compose YAML, but I have a common YAML here. Okay, this, for example, I am declaring uh, the two parts of my of my con uh, of my container to run my applications. Okay, uh, in this case, I am uh, I am I am trying to put. Uh, the Python, the, the Python container from um, my private registry. Okay, I will use in a common here. It's not important. It's only echo. And the foot inside will use the image with my same um, with my my code. That is the same code that is here. Okay. And. I will use in my Docker Compose YAML. Oh. For example, for create and uh, for running my site, I will extend to the to the to the file common YAML and I will call the service Python. That is the first container that I created. And this will be the same, but with my code. I will I will raise a volume here with my word here, and I will run. I will run uh, two comments in my code on uh, first to create my database, and the second is for run my my application. And I will expose, or I will forward the port of my container to the container uh, of my web server. That means uh, could be used for a browser. Okay, and I will and I will run right now. Can you help me? Can you help me here? Right. <laughs> it's 
visible. Oh. Shit. Okay. I will go to my to my code. Um, well, first I will remove my I will remove um, my image, okay. For this, I will see. How many images there? Okay. I will re I will remove this image. Docker. What? Okay, I will use him fourth respond. I will swing you by on a container. Okay. What other container? <laughs> okay, I know. So the dockers stop. Uh, tap it around. I am using a running container here, and I will stop in order to delete. So this is that container now. Python container. Well, to happen. Can stop. So a Docker meshes. Okay, start. Foot can, foot can. Okay, I stop my container and I will see if I can if I can remove my other container here. So delete. And I will I will uh, uh, run my Docker Compose to get the images from the from the registry and deployment application. I will uh, here, okay, and I will run my Docker Compose like daemon. So I will up my applications, and this D is for running in daemon mode, and the name of my container is Footcon. When I do that, I will pull in my images here. What's up? A sudo. Sudo. <laughs> I will put I will pull all my images from the registry. Okay? It, this is my in my local environment. Obviously, was quickly. The internet uh, will <laughs> will uh, download uh, slowly with our our connections. And if 
I tried to see what happened here. That means my first container is a six-year-old. That means no errors. And my second container is running in my local environment in the port, in this port, OK? This is done. It's really. Okay, sorry. 